hey y'all i'm very sorry about this this is really about to be me ranting and raving for just like a couple of minutes um if you do not like a whole bunch of cursing i would ask you right now to please step off my video if you don't like a whole bunch of cursing i'm telling you right now exit stage left because see the way i'm about to go in it's not even cute i wish my fucking camera was a little bit higher but let me tell y'all something so i was working i was watching space jam i was watching the first one because i want to do a video where i'm comparing like the first space jam to the second one uh so anyway i'm watching that so then i get on my phone i'm in a meeting and while i'm in my meeting i see that ebony went live now let me tell y'all i just started following ebony like not that long ago not that long ago honestly so normally i don't really pay attention to when people go last because i really could care less but i'm like you know what let me go on so when i get on there ebony is saying you know long story short ebony came on the live to pretty much defend herself because people are now going around saying that she's not even a real lawyer when in aria and that her license was suspended when it wasn't suspended for disciplinary reasons it was suspended because she just hasn't practiced law and god knows how long okay so she got on the live to pretty much tell everybody y'all not about to sit up here and try to come for me do not try to come for my um you know like my my credibility or anything like that and actually now that i think about it because this is going to be a rant that's kind of like going and going i came in here with one agenda but y'all know how my mind go other things are going to pop up what i don't like about a lot of the shit that you motherfucking white people do because y'all did the same thing to dr tiffany why is it that when people when non-white people come on these real housewife franchises the first thing y'all want to do is try to discredit them and their work not just simply say, I don't care for Ebony because Ebony always talking about some blackity black ass shit. I don't care for a uh, freaking um, Dr. Tiffany because she's an Asian woman, okay? I don't care for Crystal, not because she's not a mean girl, but because she's an Asian freaking woman. Instead of y'all just coming out and saying that, y'all want to do everything else to try to discredit it. Y'all want to sit up here and try to put out the fact, and I really honestly, truly, because she didn't say who it was, but I feel like it was either Ramona or some people behind the scenes of Bravo, and I'm explaining to y'all in a minute why I feel like it. that's out here leaking that information. I don't understand. Like I said, y'all did the same thing to Dr. Tiffany. When Dr. Tiffany came on Real Housewives of Dallas, here come Cam and her weak ass family. When I went on a whole 30 minute rant about that, trying to come and discredit this woman as a doctor, not as a person, but as a doctor, something she fucking worked for. So because y'all don't like Ebony and y'all don't like that she come on here and talk about a whole bunch of blackity black ass shit, y'all want to discredit her as a lawyer, which is something that y'all cannot do. Y'all can't discredit that woman as as a lawyer and I think I'm even more offended because as a black woman that's trying to get into the field of law y'all don't even understand how hard that is it is hard the only reason I do not even I'm not even in law school it's because of the money it's because of how much time and I still have to keep a damn roof above my head so for Ebony to actually have gone to law school finished at 23 actually go on to have a very illustrious successful ass career as a lawyer so much to the fact where she could actually step away away from that and do other things y'all are not about to come through and discredit this woman just because y'all don't like the fact that she's on y'all show which y'all need to be entertaining and not talk about real ass shit it's called the real housewives none of these hoes is housewives but do i hear anybody complaining about that the real housewives franchise for the most part have not had housewives since probably season three or four but i don't hear anybody complaining about that sonia is not a housewife lou is not a housewife Ramona is not a housewife. Leah is not a housewife. None of these hoes is housewives, but I don't hear y'all complaining about that. If y'all don't like her, that's one thing. If you don't like Crystal just as a person, that's one thing. If you don't like Dr. Tiffany as a person, that's one thing. But do not, for God's sake, try to come through and discredit what these women have done outside of this show. Do not do it because what I'm confused about is has any any of those ladies done half the shit that fucking Ebony has other than maybe Ramona on a business side? No, y'all have the fuck not. So I'm a little bit confused. Let me also say this. I seen that on what uh, I seen a little clip of Watch What Happens Live. Michael Rappaport, which we Michael Rappaport talking about some. Oh, I don't really care for Ebony because I'll go to Anderson Cooper if I want to hear all of that. That's not what this is for. This is supposed to be entertaining. Da, da, da. I first of all, if you think 
I, as a black woman, is a black person going to take anything that Michael fucking Rappaport have to say seriously? If that's what you think, if that's what you think, you have not been paying the fuck attention. I will never in my life listen to a white man who thinks just because he was cool with some rappers in the 90s, just because he was in a couple black films, think that he is now the connoisseur and can fucking speak on black people in their issues. You think I'm going to take what he has to say seriously? I don't give a fuck if he got a black wife, ex-wife, whatever the hell it is. I do not care. If y'all think that I'm going to take Michael Rappaport and his opinion for something, are you are you kidding me right now? Y'all all online caping for Michael Rappaport and what he has to say about a black woman? That's what we're doing in 2021. Bruh, y'all are really full of shit. And let me say this. The reason why I really feel like Bravo behind the scenes low key are the people who probably kind of sort of put this shit out about Ebony is because there are now all of these now all of a sudden all of these articles is going out that oh the real housewives of New York their um their ratings are super low oh the real housewives of New York nobody's watching it this this that and a third da, 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 da. and what y'all are trying to do is blame it on Ebony and say oh the reason why nobody's watching it is because she's talking about blackity black ass shit now you want to know what that might partially be true but let's be real the real housewives of new york has been one of the least freaking watched uh series i mean um franchises next to the real housewives of dallas out of all of them do you want to know why because a lot of times the show itself is boring it really has little to do with ebony in particular now maybe she might have for a couple of people that watch it because of course all y'all motherfuckers want to watch it you just kick, 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 and we don't want to talk about real shit and da, da, da. so maybe a few of y'all didn't watch the show but i don't like how the narrative is now trying y'all are trying to shape the narrative that the reason that nobody watches the real housewives of new york is because of ebony and the shit that she comes on the show and talks about y'all are not on my fucking watch I'm about to sit up here and take all of the blame of viewership and put it on her let's just be real if we take let's take let's be real if you watch the real housewives of new york let's be real take ebony out of it this season what in the f do the girls have going on absolutely nothing ramona has nothing going on lou has nothing going on sonya has nothing going on leah has a little something going on maybe a little something here and there but, but if you was to really take ebony outside of this damn show take her off what is this season about let's be real I want to wait. What is this season about if Ebony's not on here? What is this season about if Leah's not on here? Please explain to me. This shit would be boring as hell. The same reason why they brought Leah on is because of the fact that the Real Housewives of New York's viewership was declining because you got a whole bunch of old ass rich white women and it's out of touch with the way that reality TV works today. Today, people my age and a little bit older in a bracket that y'all are trying to fucking hit, we are no longer about sitting up here and seeing a whole bunch of rich ass people. That's not what the majority of us want to see. That's why shows like MTV Cribs don't work anymore. Anything that's really flaunting people's wealth, it don't really work like that for people in my generation because we're tired of seeing that shit. We want to see real life shit. That's why when Leah was brought on the show, it brought a, a sense of fresh air because you actually have a real regular ass person who's not so super super duper rich she's actually living a regular ass probably basic ass life in fucking new york something that people can relate to something that people can relate to okay so i don't like the fact that y'all tried to diversify the real housewives cast but now all of a sudden all of these things is coming out all of these articles all of a sudden all of this stuff is now quote unquote leaking about ebony trying to make it that she's the reason why y'all don't have the views that y'all got get the fuck out of here because i stand on what i said take ebony out of this season what do y'all have y'all have absolutely nothing so again if you don't like the girl just don't like her if you don't like crystal just don't like her if you don't like dr tiffany just don't like her but don't sit up here and then try to discredit the actual work that they've done outside of this fuck ass show to try to bring them the hell down at the end of the day it's tired it's old it's lazy it's all of that shit how about you executives all of y'all because let's just be real if I want to be very, very honest, outside of the Real Housewives of Potomac, which was a sleeper in the beginning for almost everybody, all the way up until a couple seasons ago, that was a sleeper. Outside of the Real Housewives of Potomac, 
every single other franchise as far as I'm concerned can either go or can be fully revamped and it's been set across fucking franchises it's not just the real housewives of new york the real housewives of atlanta this past season i know not a whole lot of people watched it because it was boring as okay the real housewives of dallas is probably their least watched real housewives okay the real housewives oh yeah sorry and real house of salt lake city that do pretty good too but potomac and salt lake city those two and you want to know why because those are newer those are newer. Even Potomac, even though Potomac been on for like maybe five or six seasons, it's still a newer franchise compared to the rest. Salt Lake City is a new franchise. So I want everybody to stop trying to frame it online and in the media that it is Ebony's fault, Ebony K. Motherfucking Williams' fault, that all of a sudden nobody, nobody cared anyway. Everybody who's watched The Real Housewives has been saying that The Real Housewives as a whole needs to revamp. Orange County needs to fucking revamp. New Jersey needs to revamp. Every single last one of these seasons needs to be revamped. All of them. It's not just this one. And I don't like that shit. That shit really makes me mad. It makes me mad. Okay? It pisses me the hell off if y'all can't tell. I don't like that shit. So how about, like I said, Bravo and the executive producers and all y'all. How about y'all go back to the board probably get a whole new cast of women that are relatable, that are a little bit younger, okay? Okay? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, I guarantee the majority of your audience that watches The Real Housewives of New York is probably not within the age bracket that Lou, Ramona, and Sonya in because those women at that age could give two fucks about reality TV. So how about we go back to the drawing board and look at everything from a whole and not sit up here and pick out one in particular person to say why it is that nobody wants to watch the show. And also, if you don't wanna watch the show because of Ebony and her blackity black ass shit, do you wanna know what you're just like Ramona and you need to stay in your little ass fucking bubble and leave shit alone everything can't be and and also somebody made a great point a wonderful point I'm confused there are about 10,000 other freaking housewife franchises if y'all want to be entertained so badly go watch them then go watch those shows the real house what's on right now the real housewives of Potomac just came back on um the real house of New Jersey I think just went off there's a lot of Real Housewives. You can go back and watch old seasons, but if you don't like the quote unquote entertainment of this season, there's so many other options. Go watch those. But to sit up here and tell her that she's ruining the show, that's not the case. The point of the matter is that it's it's kind of like, because it kind of gives me like the whole football thing. Like all of y'all, all of y'all white people, oh, I don't want to watch it because it's it's, it's too political. It, 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 it's too political. She is a black woman there is no getting around that and y'all are also forgetting that around the time that this season was shot it was last year around COVID okay when the election was going on and when Black Lives Matter was really a big thing so that's just like if we went to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and they never talked about the Black Lives Matter movement that's not reality that's the thing y'all sit up here so badly and fans are so fucking fickle because y'all sit up here and get mad at a lot of these other shows like Love and Hip Hop you know Love and Hip Hop and damn there anything that come on VH1 and be like oh all of these reality shows are so fake it's so scripted it's so fake so now that we're actually dealing with real life shit we're literally coming off the tail end of they're coming off of the tail end of a whole summer of the black lives matter movement being at the at its height george floyd killing all that we're literally at the height of that and we're supposed to act like no, we're just not gonna talk about it it's just not important who wants to deal with it Y'all got too many other franchises if that's what y'all want to do with. The Real Housewives, of, Real Housewives of Dallas didn't touch on the Black Lives Matter. The um, uh, There's a whole bunch of Real Housewives, New, New Jersey, none of them touched on any of that. So if y'all don't want to be bothered that much, go watch that. But don't be one of those people that sit up there and complain that reality TV today is too fake and it's too scripted. And then when we're actually bringing in some real shit, now all of a sudden it's too much. It's too much. And for the black people in particular that are really doing the most and really going in on Ebony, y'all should really be stopping and taking a look at yourself because I really honestly truly believe when Ebony said it's because y'all are uncomfortable with making white people uncomfortable. That is a fact of the matter because let me tell you something right now. If Ebony was doing the same shit that she was doing but it was on another show or if it was here or if it was there y'all wouldn't have a fucking problem with it period 
Y'all wouldn't have a problem with it. It's a reality show. I'm so sorry if reality is not entertaining to some of y'all. I'm so sorry if reality is so depressed and so that I'm so sorry. But I don't sit up here seeing the entire episode being about the Black Lives Matter movement the way that the Real Housewives of Atlanta pretty much did the whole first half of their damn season this fucking year. I still see white women up here acting like they ain't got no damn sense, getting drunk, spending money that the rest of us, we all out here broke. I still see that. So I'm a little bit confused. Like I said, I understand that Ebony and her delivery can be heavy handed. I get that. But for people to now go out of their way because y'all don't like that little simple shit to discredit her as a lawyer and her career outside of this fuckity fuck ass show, y'all all deserve to be smacked. And Bravo Andy, if y'all are the people behind the scenes, moving y'all hand, well, this is why, well, you know what, you know, because people be trying to act like this shit don't happen. It really do. Bad press coming out about the, uh, the, the, uh, the ratings and stuff. We just going to put it on the black girl. How about that? And then bravo, Andy, for you to sit up there and let a white man sit on that stage. This is exactly why. Y'all be trying to ask me why I don't go up for bravo, Andy. This is why. Because he allows so much bullshit it fucking drives me insane but again all of that to say ebony hella heavy-handed in her delivery hella heavy-handed but i know for a fact i ain't even gotta look at this i know for a fact ebony is not the reason the only reason that the freaking viewership for the real housewives of new york has declined it's boring it is a boring ass show i just seen the mid-season trailer finale it look i mean not finale but the mid-season trailer the rest of the season looks boring it looks boring and i don't even i didn't even see one thing about ebony bringing up any blackity black shit in it looks boring it's boring andy go back to the damn drawing board and try again all of y'all stop pointing a finger at everybody the fuck else and go back to the drawing board and give us something i don't know interesting what the fuck is wrong with y'all